But many people who have been part of Wartburg College, past and present, all have a few things in common. Outfly, hatred for Luther, and Joe's Nighthawk. Within Joe's, everyone has noticed the legendary Wall of Fame, but not everyone knows the history behind it. Owner Joe Brightback says the idea of the wall has been around since the beginning of Joe's, in 1975. It came from one of Brightback's friends who had been doing something similar for the teams and players of the University of Iowa. To get started, Brightback received help from Wartburg's Director of Public Information at the time, Dwayne Schrader. Schrader gathered information about all of Wartburg's athletic All-Americans from the archives, taking the wall all the way back to the early 1950s. There are now about 145 All-Americans on the wall, all done by one artist, Jack Bender. But why has the addition of new portraits come to a stop? Unfortunately, my artist, uh, Jack Bender, is not capable of doing these any longer. He's, uh, we've sort of worn him out. Brightback says they are aggressively trying to find an artist who can match Bender's style. Another question many ask is, with so many athletes on the wall, is there a legendary one that sticks out from the rest? Probably Missy Buttry. Missy by far was uh, head and shoulders above a lot of people. Buttrey was an 11-time All-American and a three-time NCAA Division III cross-country champion at Warburg, who went on to be part of the 2005 U.S. World Cross-Country Squad. While there are many stories behind the pictures at Joe's, there are always some that are more unique than others that come up in conversation. The ones that stick out the most are those that hang upside down. Mr. Kruger, he and his wife uh, decided to send their daughter to Luther, so that's why he's hung upside down. And Gary Nelson, who was a great uh, running back for us here, uh, he too had children after that. He had two really good football playing boys, and he sent both of his kids down to Central. So they'll forever be upside down here at the Nighthawk. There is a wide range of athletes on the wall, with one father and son pair, several sibling pairs, even Wartburg's first national champion in any sport. But what does the wall mean to those who have made it and have gone on in life? Having your picture up at Joe's keeps you alive. <laughs> uh, you never forget uh, the experiences because people always remind you. Coach Norton says that for those who haven't made the wall yet, it's there to motivate and remind them as well. It's a great opportunity for people to continue to live um, through their dreams and through the dreams of others uh, to see what's going on over there. And I just think it's a great way to continue to strive off what Warburg College does. For the many triumphant athletes who have made it on the wall, most have one thing that sticks in their minds for the future. And I just hope that one day my daughter doesn't go to Luther because I don't want mine to be upside down. <laughs> Going inside the numbers for Sports Night, I'm Ben Reed.